What up, guys? It's Adam from Outlier. I'm going to show you guys how to ladder. You guys like ladders? Razor Ramon, Shawn Michaels, SummerSlam, Owen Hart, Bret Hart, those ladders, ladder matches of our youth. I'm going to show you guys how to make a fun ladder using NBA props. Those are probably the best ones. Let's get to it right now. Bang! Look at that. It's our dashboard. Okay, so here's what you do. You want to probably pick things that are worth laddering, to be totally honest. Um, I would say points and rebounds are good ones. Uh, threes is another good one. Assist is kind of tough because you're reliant upon somebody else to do something after your guy does something. Um, it's a lot easier for that to fall apart. So let's go with, um, we're going to go with points. We're going to go, let's just, we'll go with points. We'll go with points to start off for this one. Go to alt lines. Um, we're going to go over right now. We're on the NBA side. You're going to sort pretty much by opponent rank. And what you are looking for is on the baseline. You are looking for something where somebody has a lot of green, good form, good history, good player. I don't know if Rudy Gobert is a good player, but it's neither here nor there. What you then want to do, I'm, I'm saying that cause I see him right here. What you then want to do is try to find what is the first non-minus version of what you're trying to ladder. I like to say, so let's call it, you know, even money right here. Let's do it. Okay. Round even money, make that your minimum. Okay. So you can sort around. And what you want to do is you want to see that guys have done this before and you want to see how high that they've gone. What do we see right away? We see that Mike Conley has a very good matchup where he has in the past uh, evidently gone above this number um, recently, but he doesn't have a good history against it. So we're not going to use him. on ladders. I like to use history because the reason is, is because that's sort of like the ladder ceiling. Like if you hit 30 points one time, you might be able to do it again. Let's see what we got here. Luke is all right, but it's a little bit high. Let's try to, what we really want to do is try to find somebody who's got like a little bit lower ladder where they could start and then we can kind of build up from there. And I think Yusuf Nurkic might be our guy, especially with Jakob Pertl out. All right, let's see this. So the baseline for Mr. Nurkic is uh, 13 and a half points. Boom. We're going to take that. All right. We have seen that in his last uh, few games, uh, what is it, like about 15? ish games. Uh, he's actually hit over this a couple times. And when he hits over it, he gets uh, 16. He's got an 18. He had 28. Um, he had 19 um, against this Toronto team in November. So he's a good ladder candidate. The numbers add up. So <clears throat> we're going to take the 13 and a half. We are then going to do the 14 and a half to get him to 15. We are then going to look at the 16 and a half. Get him there. And uh, we know that his ceiling, we've, we've seen him get 20. So let's do this. His last 20 games, he's done it once. He's gotten to 20. And uh, let's see what else we got here. At the 18. Don't wanna, let's not skip a rung, all right? So <clears throat> what you want to do is you see that within each of the rungs of the ladder, <clears throat> he has done this before. Sorry, guys. Flu season. What, but what you've done is you want the baseline to be something that he's hit a lot. So if his baseline is 14, great history, 19 before, it's done pretty well, not too bad. This is a good one. Good, nice, fun, good, nice, easy points ladder. And then what you're going to see here is that we have all of his ladder rungs all set up on the side. So he goes 14 points, 15 points, 16 points, 17 points. Um. 18 and 20. Uh, we actually don't have nine. We actually don't have 19 points. So he skips a rung here. My recommendation when you do a ladder is to assume a risk across the board that you want on all the rungs together. By that, I mean, if it's five rungs, you only want to risk a unit across all these. You don't want a unit on every single one. It's a little aggressive. It's not the best thing to do with your bankroll. So I would recommend that you take um, half a unit or uh, sometimes you could do 0.75, but I'd say half a unit 
on the base. So we're going to do half a unit on 13 and a half. And then you have four rungs, one, two, three, four rungs left. And you have a half a unit left. You can distribute that evenly across these at uh, 0.12 units for each of these four. If you want, you could go up, you could do a 0.25 on the next rung and then do 10 and then 0.25 uh, go that way. But the key thing here is you want to find somebody who's done it before against the team you're playing, has been doing it a little bit recently, and is going to give you a little bit of value on, you know, just doing his job better. Personally, as we're looking at this, and I'm kind of looking at the numbers, I don't even think you really want to do the 14 as, as his base rung. I would do the base rung as the 15 points. So do half a unit on that 15 points. You start off at plus 115. The next rung on that ladder is uh, is jumps immediately to uh, 17 points, and that's almost two to one. And then you got 18 points at plus 240, and you have 20 points at point or at plus 450. So what we've done is we've taken his base, we've seen what he's done, and then we've added a little bit on the alts here. So that is, in a nutshell how you kind of do a ladder. I will show you guys more ladders. I will do them with rebounds. I can do them with points. With threes, it's a lot of fun, but the key concepts are look for good matchups, look for a guy who's done it before, and look for a guy who's in pretty good form. Nurkic is in actually pretty good form. I've been Adam. This has been Outlier. Good luck with your bets.